good morning, Magandang Umaga, and welcome to today's episode of My PI Dream. Today is Saturday, and if you remember, today is the big WOCEE, World of Consumer Electronics Expo, in Manila at the World Trade Center. So we are uh, trying to get up early, running just a little bit late this morning. I hear there's some traffic in there because the Skyway, I understand, is some construction <laughs> going on. Uh, it might cause a little bit of a delay getting into Manila. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and and get today started. So without further delay, let's get today's video underway. As you can see, we have arrived. We have arrived at the World Best WOCEE uh, in combination with the WOSAS uh, Expo that they are having here today. Uh, we hit a little bit of traffic coming up, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it, uh, it could have been. Uh, so anyway, we're going to go inside, we're going to register, and then we'll get today's event started. Registration out of the way, it's time to start hitting some of the booths in here. Now, if you join us before on our trips here to Manila, uh, specifically to the World Trade Center, for the, uh, the expos, uh, usually the expos are unique. When I say unique, what I mean is uh, if this was the WOCE, this whole area right here, this whole uh, expo center would be the WOCE. When they do the WOSAS, they would have the entire section reserved for the WOSAS. But today, what I'm noticing right off the, uh, us arriving here is it's divided. It's different. They're doing both of the events here in the same place. And it's subdivided. This side over here is the WOCEE. And on this side over here is the WOSAS. So what we're going to do, because the main reason we came here today was to see the new consumer electronics that are available here in the Philippines, we're going to start over on this side of the Expo Center and then we'll work our way over to the WSAS and be able to cover everything in one day's worth of events. So a lot of times normally when you come to the Expo, uh, when you come to the entrance and you do your registration, they'll, they'll give you a little bag and you'll get all these little information brochures like all these kind of things like this that each one of the vendors inside here will give you. But I didn't see that when we came in here today. Maybe we missed it. But uh, I think Ness ended up scoring one of the bags inside here. So we'll be able to put a lot of our literature inside that bag uh, as we're walking through and make it more convenient. Anyway, something that's kind of cool uh, that caught my attention from this company here. This company here is Perfect Home. 
and they have this little power cube. And I'll, I'll let the, uh, the salesperson uh, talk a little bit about it in a second. But I asked them, what are they for? And if you have like a computer or you have some devices on your desk that you need to hook up and you want to make sure that they're protected, they're, they have like a trip system, a breaker system. That's what they have right here. Uh, but anyway, you want, to, you want to talk a little bit about your product right here? This one's for for uh, extension power cubes as a special for auto breaker. Uh, this is a trip. Then this one is a uh, 2,500 watts. You use only for a uh, homemade uh, for your computer, your laptop, your appliances, and cell phone also. And some of them you have they have uh, uh, USB ports on it. Yes, sir. We yep. have a USB port like this one. You're charging your phone, uh, your cell phone, Apple, iPad. Okay, awesome. Something else that caught our eye as we were walking back here is if you're into massage chairs, massage chairs are really big in the Philippines. If you go to any of the malls, there is usually like a store that's set up on the side uh, or they will be in the center of the mall and they'll have a bunch of these massage chairs set up. There's a company here called Hiro, H-I-R-O, uh, out of Japan. And we're gonna try out a, a couple of their products that they have here. Uh, they have a walker over here, that's, it's like a treadmill. And they also have the massage chair that Ness is trying out right now. You need this in the basement? <laughs> you need this in your ma 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 man cave? Yeah. Yeah, it's running fast. Hey, this, this is what I needed after that two hour drive from, from Tangas. It's nicer. Okay, something I find really interesting, and one of our recent subscribers that came to visit us, one of his hobbies are electronic cars. Well, let me show you this really neat, it's like an electronic car scooter kind of thing, uh, by this company, is this the name of the company? DECC. DEC, developer of electronic conveyances corporation. Anyway, I'm gonna let the, uh, the vendor here talk a little bit about this really neat product. Hi, my name is Joseph. I'm a sales agent in DECC. I'll show you how to operate this unit. Hello. First, put up the, put the key and then pull. It has a reverse, a horn, park light, high and low with hazard signal light. It also have a stereo. FM radio and we have also sunroof sunroof turbo fan turbo fan you can adjust and then we have also power window our best selling point power window with both left and right it's also uh, adjustable seats so you can see you can incline or decline we have already a uh, rear light LED light. And how long does the battery with a battery charge? How uh, far can, charge, how far can you go? Charge for six to eight hours. It will range for eighty kilometers. Eight, on one charge. Uh, eight hours, sir. It eight will range charge. for eighty kilometers. Eighty kilometers. Yes, sir. And the top top speed of this unit is thirty six kilometer per hour. Thirty six. Yes, sir. Let's take a look and see what it looks like from the outside. Yes. This is the charger port, sir. You can charge here and then you can uh, plug in any regular outlet to your house. 220 volts. Very easy to use, sir. Very convenient. With zero emission, eco-friendly. And the price? What is the price? The price of this unit is 165,000 pesos. Yeah, they also have a Facebook, uh, a Facebook page, and the Facebook page is DECC. But if you want to contact these people directly, uh, here's some information. Now, I'm told if you're interested in this electronic vehicle, uh, that it also comes in multiple col colors. Red, yellow, blue, and white is what they have this in. Are you interested in 
filtered alkaline water. Well, if you are, uh, we're going to get a little demonstration on uh, this device here that actually produces alkaline water. Tell me a little bit about your product here. This, uh, this product is a pure water. So you don't need to buy mineral water from the repelling station. All you have to do is to connect in your faucet. Yes. It converted into a pure water. Pure water means clean water that it has a mineral content like calcium, magnesium, potassium, higher pH level. Actually ma'am, this one is better than alkaline. Alkaline is only a uh, higher pH. This one, yes, this one higher pH, 10.0, 9.0, 9.5. And this one have a ceramic filter and a carbon black filter. That's why it called uh, we call uh, we call uh, pure water. Alkaline only is uh, plates. This one is uh, have uh, a lot of filter processing tap tap water. If you drink this one, sir, uh, it to neutralize acidity our body. It can prevent uh, high acid in our body. Sir, I will see the uh, I will see to you this one, sir. Uh, if ever, sir, if ever, this if one. ever uh, you drink, uh, drink one, this one. Yeah, no, no. yeah this is yeah, the taste term. Yeah, that's alkaline. Yeah, yeah much one. better than alkaline. Uh, higher pH. Ordinary water. If you, uh, higher this pH. One. Ordinary water. If you drink uh, uh, ordinary water, have you familiar a Kanjian water, ma'am? Yeah, this one, uh, very nice in the market also. This one is acid water. Clean water but no minerals. Clean water but it has a mineral content. So if you drink this one, much better in our health. Because if our body is acid, to clean. One of the items of particular interest when we always come to these trade shows, and it has to do with solar. I'm always being asked questions about solar. You remember at Villa Feliz, we already roughed in for the solar, but we just haven't selected a a company yet, a vendor, uh, to put the solar panels on our roof. We're going to do that, uh, but we're not going to do that today or tomorrow. It's a, it's a, it's a project that's going to be done later on. Solar is green, solar is good, solar saves you money. So while we're here, I noticed there are several companies here that also have solar products here. And we're going to talk with one of the companies, and right across there's another one. We'll talk with them as soon as some of the line goes down. So yes, can you talk about your product here? Yes, yes sir. Hi. Mm -hmm. We are Eco Solar. Uh, we are a contractor of solar panels. Uh, I'm engineer Simon, sir. So tell tell me a little bit about your product here. Yes, sir. Uh, we are conducting a pre-survey in those who want to install a power plant by using solar, uh, by res residential, industrial, and commercial buildings. Sir. A sample of our project, sir. They can visit uh, Eco Solar, Philip. Build.com. Uh, there's uh, our website and here's our contact here. Yes, sir. And this is with the phone number, contact yes, sir. information, Facebook. Yes, sir. And your website. Yes, sir. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much, sir. Thank you for nice meeting you. And like I said, we are going to talk a little bit more about solar. This company here, Japan Solar, has a couple of neat products. They sell the entire package, the solar panel packages. They sell the inverters. They'll come out and do a complete installation at your home for that. But what caught my eye on this particular booth is this irrigation system right here. If you have something like a farm lot or if you have a farm and you have a well and you want to be able to pump your free water with free solar to your crop, this system that they have right here will do that just for you. This has solar panels for collection of the electricity and it will be converted over to this device which is a controller that will do the control down to the pump that goes down inside your well. Then what that's going to do, that's going to dump water into your reservoir and gravity fed from your reservoir into your farm uh, garden. Uh, so if you are a farmer and you're looking for a inexpensive way to be able to provide water to your crop, this system might be something for you. Uh, they have a little video here, and he's going to show me a little bit of a video uh, that they have that gives kind of an example about what I'm talking about. So if I can get the uh, vendor here at this group to show us a little bit about it, we're going to take a look. So this is the actual photo from uh, installation in Las Piñas. So we are using 12 panels here, and this is the pump. So we're, uh, the system is still running, even if it's cloudy or even if it's raining. 
so we can still uh, pump water during this kind of season so it we can pump a uh, much uh, larger volume of water during summer so we are actually irrigating a rice farm here which is a five hectare rice farm so that's the actual photo in la in our last penis project so this is the panels that's where the pump is located then we also have a small reservoir here so that's the reservoir that's it and if, if folks want to get in touch with you how do they contact you Thank you so much. Thank you. Are you interested in improving your vlog or your podcast? Well, I just came across a little company here that actually can assist you with that as well. Uh, and the name of your company is? Podcast Network Asia. And this is Ryan back over here. And what these guys can do for you, if you need assistance and you need some professional help with building up your business, or if you already have a business and you need equipment, uh, microphones and all the special things that you need to run a professional podcast, professional vlog, these guys have it right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave you a link to this, uh, this vendor right here. And if you want in more information, you can contact them. So I don't re know if you remember from last year, we stopped at this particular booth, ESA. And ESA stands for Eastern Integrated Systems and Automation. Uh, these folks had a 3D printer last year. It was a bigger printer than they have this year. I want you to look at this smaller 3D printer. Now they have a lot of little neat things if you're into Bluetooth speakers, uh, uh, some, uh, some automated weighing uh, devices. Uh, also, scorecards. If you need a scorecard, say like for your basketball court, if you're hosting basketball, they have these also. They didn't have these last year when we came here. But what caught my eye, my attention, was they have growers. For those of you who are doing indoor growing, uh, so to start your seedlings before you actually put it out inside your yard, this place has a, oh, let me see if I can find uh, their little advertisement. They have an LED grow light. You see this right here. Uh, the LED grow light and let me show you an example of what their LED grow light looks like for real. So if you need an indoor LED grow light, let me go ahead and give you the information, the contact information for this particular company. So what I came across here that I think is interesting, uh, we get questions all the time about how can I keep my house cool? Uh, this company here, Trendway Builders, they have a product. It's an application that's done on your windows. Many people ask us about how can we insulate our windows, either getting like double panes inside so that you have an insulation air gap inside, or if you want to use single windows like we have at Villa Feliz, uh, that we have some tinning on it. Now, I, I'm going to show you a demonstration of here. The, uh, the, the kind folks here also already gave me a, a demonstration of the properties of this coating that they put on their window. But basically what it does, it prevents heat buildup from going from outside of the house, going into your house. So you want to go ahead and do a, a quick demo again for me on here? So what they have is they have three different types of glass right here. They have one that's tinted. They have one that is coated with the nano coat technology that they have. And they have normal glass that doesn't have any type of properties that's added to it. So when they put a light on it in the background that's producing heat, you can feel the heat on the outside. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Now it's, it's real, hopefully we're not blinding you too much, but it is really hot going through the normal glass. Now when you move it over to the tinted glass, the heat that's coming through is really high also on this one. Now when they use their nanotechnology, 
it's almost cool to the touch. It's 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 it's, it's probably 75% less than the heat that you get from the other windows on here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna let the the vendor here talk a little bit about his product. Hi. Right, so this was developed by my advisor, Sir Nonato Santos, uh, back well, ten years ago. So. It uses a particular nanomaterial that has a specific property that allows it to trap the heat into the matrix of the of the glass pane. So, what's advantageous with our product is it only uses a single layer in order for it to mitigate that much heat uh, from transmitting into the home. Now, now is the application is the application of this is this done? Can the consumer do it, or does your company come out and do the application? Uh, the company does it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave a link. If you're interested in this product, I'm going to leave a link. Uh, I'll show you the business card here. I think you're going to find this next uh, vendor here pretty interesting. And we have a lot of people who are interested, remember, in smart home technology. So I finally found one of the vendors inside who actually sells smart home technology. I'm going to let her uh, introduce her company uh, and her brand that she actually sells here in uh, this particular uh, area right here. So please introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Kathy. I'm the Sales and Marketing Associate of Nova Systems Integration and Technologies Incorporated. And now we carry, I would like to, to, to meet our brand for Smart Home Automation at Sigma Casa. So we have um, 11 devices here. The, um, I want you to introduce, this is the power kit. So for this one, you can have already the gateway, the central, and then together with the two plugs. And then we have the smart IR. This one you can control your air condition and TV monitor using your um, Sigma app on your phone. You can turn on, turn off already your air con, even your away from your home. And then the smoke detector. This is also, we have additional purpose for that. It's an alert, alarm. So if there's someone enter on your office or in your house and then it will alarm on your phone, you will receive notification for that one. And we have also motion, smart plug and the weather of course. And the door sensors. And we have the light and the smart eye becomes. So this is the surveillance and CCTV that you can use at home. And this is the shock. So you can put this in the any glass, so windows. Glass the, breakage, yes. it detects glass breakage. Yes, so tempting um, entering your house, it will receive notification from your phone. Something I want to ask you yeah. about particularly, let's see what was, oh, the door and window sensor. Yes. Now, does this operate and connect to a hub somewhere inside your house? No, no, it's just a, put it on. Is this an alarm? Yeah, an, oh, an independent alarm. Yes. So once you um, open your door, you will receive notification from your phone. Door is open or closed. So 1 a.m. if someone enter your house, so you will uh, receive notification from it. And these are motion sensors yeah, that you have the, inside the here. Yeah, the good thing for Sigma Casa, this is an ecosystem that you can install at your home with convenience, comfort, and security. And, and these motion sensors that you have, do they transmit over your Wi-Fi yes. and, and give you an alarm yes, alert? Yes, okay. yes, yes. Every, every devices that we have, you can receive an alarm. Yes, even this is the shock. So once you um, he detect some wave or shock, you will receive notification from your phone. That's now, what, what we what have. What is the cost of this unit right here? This is only for 2,200. So 2,000 bucks 
Two, very cheap. Two thousand. Yes, very, the very quality is really good. Uh, yeah. Yes. Now, will this pick up breakage on other windows or just this window right here? Just window and um, sometimes near, yeah. which is a perimeter of one hundred meters. Four hundred. Okay. Yes. It's a video wall. Yeah. Video wall. Yes. So you you just can you tell how this actually works? What's what's so the, um, this one is the wall plus this is the digital signage player that we use. And then once you connect this one to an ordinary TV, it will just easy to use a digital signage. That is, that is so neat. Yeah, yeah. I, I, so this is uh, is this connected? Yeah, this is a LAN so connector. This is H HDMI, HDMI. HDMI is going to the monitor itself. Yes, right, sir. And this is connected on your LAN. Yes. And where is the source? Is it it's on your local on computer? Your, yes, local computer or your desktop, laptop. Thank you very much. Thank you. Nice very to meet you, sir. It was very nice to meet nice you to too. Nice to meet you, sir. Take care. Can I have a picture? For us, the Fed 4RGK is another step forward in making construction surveying with drones. It is now you're probably asking yourself, for those that, that are familiar with DJI products, uh, this isn't your standard, your standard DJI quadcopter right here. Either one of these that we have. The, the Phantom Pro that they have here, it's an industrial version. It has a GPS locator on the top of it. And when it records your action video, what it will do, it will do a stamp, a GPS stamp on your Latin long when you're actually flying. So if you have a business that relies on all the information about uh, your aerial photography, your aerial video. Uh, this company right here provides sales and support for these pieces of equipment and they're authorized DJI resellers. This is the location for delivering good results. Okay, well that's about it for today's episode. It's time to head back on that long journey from Manila back down to Lipa. Well, maybe, hopefully it won't be so long. Hopefully the traffic isn't so bad on a Saturday. Uh, so anyway, a good day here at the expo. We got to talk with a lot of really nice people. Uh, we got to see uh, a lot of really nice products that they have inside. And uh, if you found any of that stuff interesting, I hope I was able to capture all the points of contact uh, and that you can contact them yourself if you find any of this of interest and you're looking for those products as well. But anyway, we're going to head back. I don't know what next week is in store, uh, but you know we will always find something uh, that's going on around Villa Feliz. <laughs> So we are going to head back. If you enjoyed today's video, please give us a thumbs up, please share, and if you have not subscribed, just click on that little My PI Dream Heart in the bottom right hand side of your screen. You'll be subscribed and you'll be notified the next time we upload a new video. So until such time, you have a wonderful and blessed day. today's episode and you would like to see more just like these just click on one of the helpful links over to your right and you might be able to pick up on some good information on DIY projects how to or if you're interested in moving to the Philippines and building you'll find answers there as well <laughs>